right, in this video, we are going to go over a score system in a modular way that will update your UI in an efficient way. And you could also have hazards that will take away your score. Each one of these are placed in the editor and changed within the editor to have a specific score or if they are labeled a hazard or not. Hazards will take away your score. All right, let's get started. We're going to start off by doing a little setup before beginning completely. Go ahead and create a new folder. Call this UI. Create another folder. Call this blueprints. Blueprints. Create, create another folder. We'll call this actors. Create another folder. We'll call this components. All right, go into your UI and we're going to create a user interface widget blueprint user widget WBP HUD stands for W widget blueprint HUD. Go ahead and open this up. This is what we're going to use to display our score. Search in the top left for a canvas panel. Go ahead and drag that down. Next, we're going to need a horizontal box and put that in you could also go in under common and there's commonly used items in here we're going to want two text we're going to add two text to the horizontal box click on your horizontal box create or click size to content and then on the anchor a nice little tip here if you hold control so if i bring this like all the way over here if you hold control shift and click whatever one you want it will automatically anchor it and align it to that specific spot so if i just hit control or if i just click it'll just do that and then you gotta like go and manually do it or if you do control click you'll have to add the offset of 0 0.5 0 0.5 to to line it up holding control shift click it automatically does that for you so next what we're going to do this first block here will just be score we'll type we'll say score and colon and then this next text block will be our score text so up here i'm going to say score and we do want this to be a variable so click variable and certain unreal uh, versions of unreal it automatically will set that as a variable uh, but the newer version does not i can't remember which one it was but just make sure that is a variable. We don't need the score as a variable. Uh, we can also name this score or or um, display x something like that. So we know what it, what each one is. And I'm gonna click the horizontal box and just give it a little offset, maybe like right there. File save. Then what we're going to do is go into our graph. We could delete all this, add custom events, and we're going to say update UI. What we're going to do is grab our score text, get set text, then the widget set text text. Plug that in, grab your text here. We can create this as a variable. This makes it more modular. If you have let's say a button that you want to do and then you want to change the text per instance but for this case we will just do that and i'm going to change this to score i keep getting my caps wrong or file save and that's all we need from this here if you want to spend a little more time and make the text look better or change the text feel free to um, but i'm going to leave it as is um and then actually uh on begin i'm going to do begin on construct event construct so when this widget is spawned i'm just going to set this text to zero um and this just for display purposes but when we add this to our character it'll automatically display zero because otherwise it's going it's going to this text block until we update the variable all right now that we got that done we can go ahead and go into our 
third person character go to blueprints our first person whichever one you're using doesn't matter just your character class pawn class whatever you are going to do uh, i'm going to briefly preface this as well um understanding the framework of unreal is a extremely important thing when making a full game but for this example here and for this prototype perfectly fine to do this um, so I'm going to just create the widget here in our character class and um, what you want to do is drag off this and type in create widget and then search for your WBP hood or whatever you called it and then we're going to promote this to a variable and we're going to say WBP hud ref and then we're going to add to viewport now when we hit play this will display top left as you see currently has no functionality but that's what it does currently next what we're going to do is go into our blueprints components and we're going to do a blueprint class and then actor component epc or so we're creating a score component delete these we're going to head and create a new function and we're going to call the score to add Go ahead and create a variable or and this is going to be an integer and this score to add function what we're going to do is add a input and call it score to add and we're going to change this to a integer pile and hold control to get control click drag to get and what we're going to do is add our score to add to our score. And then we're going to hold Alt, click, drag, plug this into here, and then plug that straight into there. And that is fine for the time being. And we can also do a um, another function: score to take away. So maybe you want um, some functionality where you get penalized or something. So we're going to do this as well. And it's very simple. Same concept. Score. Score. To. Take. Away. Same concept. We want to grab our score. Do minus. Min. Do subtract. Our score from this and then we want to set it again and plug that into there and I got this backwards that will be wrong we want to subtract our punt our score to take away from our current score go ahead and compile save and we want to do one more function and we're going to call this update UI score. Go ahead and compile, save. We want to cast to our character. I'm going to do third person character. It's player character. And we're going to pull. Um, before that, go ahead and go to our character class, add a component and add our bpc score component to our character then compile that go back to our score and we want to get wbp hudref and then we want to call the custom event that we added in our hud class or uh what do we call it? update score update ui that and we're going to get our score variable and plug it in there. And then once you have this plugged in, then you want to go to your score to add and go ahead and 
all our updates UI score from here. And then you want to do the same in the score to take away. Now, um, we're going to clamp this so it does not go in the negative. So we're going to go clamp integer if that's what you want. If you want your score to go into the negative, then don't do this. And you won't need a min and a max. Um, I'm just going to put a bunch of zeros. And that way it doesn't cap out. Um, so it will never go below zero now. There's another way you could do this. You could do an if statement where you can just simply say if score is less than or equal to, or not greater than, less than or equal to zero, that's true, then we just set this at zero. Otherwise, we'll continue that path. That's another way you could do this without doing the weird max right here. Um, but again, for prototype and, and this simple setup, um, it's going to work like this. So if we launch up, nothing will happen. What we're going to do now is go into our actor folder, create a blueprints class actor, BP M O A. And I named this BPM for Blueprint Master Collectibles. That way you can create numerous ones. Um, there's ways that you could do where you could just create this one actor and create like a data table and then change the data um, in editor so you don't have to have multiple actors. But we're just going to do it like this for the, the simplicity of this video. So what we're going to do is add a mesh static mesh I'm gonna make this a cube I'm gonna change the size to 0.5.5 .5 all across the board file save and then on the collision we're going to say can character step on no generate overlap events no and no collision. File. And then we're going to add a sphere. Collision. We're going to pull this up so it is centered. And we're going to make this a little bigger. So we'll just say 100. Um, so we can collect it a little further. It's more magnetized this way. And then from this, what we're going to do is right click and add event on components begin overlap and we're going to do is cast to third person character and then we're going to get the BPC score components this is the component that we created that is on our character and then we're going to say score to add all our score to add function and we're going to create a variable here and we'll just say reward to keep it more understanding to more easy easy to understand what we're doing so this we're going to make it an integer and then i'm going to make this instance edible go ahead and compile and then we're going to plug this into there i'll save so now since I have everything hooked up, everything should work properly. Um, it's currently set to zero. That's fine. We will set that in the editor. So I'm going to drag this out. I'm gonna drag another one out and another one. Also, real quick, if we go to construction script, we are going to get the static mesh. Set static mesh. We're going to promote this to a variable. We'll say collectible mesh. Also make this instance editable and we can change this in editor as well. And this just allows you to create multiple types of act, types of collectibles um, and give them different points. So we're going to make this one a cube 
just type in cube. I don't like that it's... We're going to look for the shape. Cube. Shape cube. We're going to make this one a pyramid or a triangle. Shape. We'll do cone. This one will be a cylinder. So now we got three different shapes and we're going to give them different amount of points. So we're going to say 10 for the, the cube. We're going to say 20 for the cone. 40 for the cylinder. And we're going to do one more. And we're going to take away 500. So we can say minus 500. And then we're going to put this as pyramid. Save. And then if we go ahead and play now, as you see top left, the score has updated. And that did take me to negative, so let's go figure out why that is. Um, right, because I am calling the um, score to add function, not the uh, and not the takeaway. So the clamping doesn't apply to that. Um, you can create a, a boolean and check to see if it's to add or to subtract. Um, so we'll do that real quick we'll say um reward and th this is just more for testing purposes you'll probably create a separate actor so you won't have to specify this in a boolean um and we'll say actually we'll just say um hazard not with that We'll change this to a boolean. We're gonna make this instance edible. Hold down B, get a branch. Plug that into there. If it is a hazard, then we're going to call the score to take away. And then we can just use the same one here. And if it's not, then it's gonna be the score to add. So compile, save. Now if we go back to our editor here, we're gonna say this is a hazard and it's negative 500. And then these ones are not hazards. So if I go ahead and play, you see I do not go below zero now and I can collect again. Now, if you do want negative score, like I said, then don't do this. And again, you don't have to do this, this Boolean check if you are going to create another actor, because then you could just call the score to take away and have a separate actor. But if you want it to be more modular and easier and less actors, then you could do it like this. So we can also, what we can do, make this a little better is it's getting a little messy i usually clean all this up but it's fine for the time being we can destroy actor so once we do collect this um either reward or hazard then it's going to destroy that specific actor so we can't collect it multiple times and that is that. And if you want to, you can add a sound effect on these. Um, but you have a score system now. And this is just a great way to scale it and do a lot more things with this if you want. Um, like I said, you can change these on the fly. You can give different score amounts to, to each one of these actors. Of course, you'll want the visual representation if you want them to 
be consistent with one another throughout your game. But that is up to you to decide. All right, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, or if I helped you in any way, drop that like, subscribe, all that cool stuff, and peace out.